Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here. And uh, Sunday. And, oh, I have to cook a roast today. It wasn't really going to be one, but I figured that if I'm going to start this diet, then I want one to end, but to, when it comes to an end of um, all of the stuff. Now, I don't know what to do, to be honest with you, because Gary is going to Disney. So there's little point in him starting the diet then. And then we also have a wedding this week that we have to go to. So there's little point in starting because of the wedding. But if you consider that, you know, there's little point in starting because of this coming up, that coming up, this coming up, you'll never start. But um, it is a bit on the unfortunate side that these things are happening. So I thought I would show you what I've been working on. And I guess you all know what I've been working on. It has been a long and arduous process of attaching all of this. Now, I've not had anyone able to hold it up for me and show me what it looks like. Obviously, I've got two rows that I'm still working on. Here they are. Now, this is what they look like. Um, and I have six more to attach. And then this whole section to add now I'm, when I hold it up I'm not sure if it looks like this you'll have to tell me if you can identify it as a creeper because I think this colour here mine is a bit bright and it might detract from the overall I'm not sure about it um, but as you may remember I struggled big time finding this colour and um, yeah I should have tried a little harder, I think, to find a colour that was more Grogu coloured, you know. Although, to be honest, I think that's quite Grogu coloured. Um, I'm not sure. What do you think? You can see the features. Does it actually look the part? You'll have to tell me because I really, I really don't know. So uh, last night I struggled with sleep really, really bad. Um, couldn't shut down. And I don't know if it's because I slept too well the night before and when I actually did get up and I, was, I found myself, yeah, this was yesterday morning, after my mam mammoth sleep, watching TV, feeling like I could just go back to bed anyway. I didn't, but I felt like it. So um, I was a bit surprised to be laying awake last night listening to Gary snore and I thought I won't wake him up because it's not him that's keeping me awake, you know. If I'd have woke him up, it'd have just been both of us awake. It was a bit selfish when he has work. So I got up and started doing some more of the blanket until my eyes could really stand it no more. Because it was hard going. I was The part I was on was attaching this row. Or I was attaching these. So obviously there is a fair amount of black to attach all this to. And, it was, and then even here. So it was hard on the eyes even though I had the overhead light on and everything else. It's still pretty hard on the eyes. So, yeah, once that... Um, I couldn't do it anymore. I thought, oh, OK, I'll go to bed now. And then Gary got up for work and made me tea. And so, so yeah, I, I was awake till quite, um, quite early hours. I started watching Sinead O'Connor, who sadly passed away. Uh, I think she's 57. I was never like a humongous Sinead O'Connor fan. I liked Nothing Compares to You and a few of her earlier songs I would kind of listen, listen to, sing along to. But I never bought into the Sinead O'Connor experience like when you really, really like somebody and you, you follow their every kind of written word, spoken word. So it really comes a bit of a shock to me, the kind of life that she led, especially her early life. It it was a massive, massive, really? You know, OK, she was born in a very religious and troubled place. There's been many a story come out and many a tale of woe. And, you know, at the time she kind of hit the big time. I was busy having a baby. I, I was having my eldest. And um, so I was kind of, you know, tied up <laughs> kind of figuring out what it's like trying to look after a baby for the first time in well since I babysat as a teenager in 
It was different. It was there, you know, 24-7 and demanded attention. So, you know, <laughs> I didn't really follow much at that particular time. But it was a shock. And I had this um, acquaintance, I can't say friend, but I had an acquaintance who told me of her life and it shocked me that it was like a Dickensian novel but made into present day. Like her her presents, her Christmas and birthday presents were got from the tip, um, what should, they could find. Um, her dad took her out robbing because... She was small enough to get through windows. And she had this respite place that she would go to for a break, like a two-week holiday a year where they'd take her away and they would take off her rags and put new clothes on her and send her home at weekends to see her parents who would rob those clothes and send her back in more rags to get changed into and give those decent new things to her sister, you know. So... Kind of, I know that that sort of life went on. I was cushioned in this bubble of having two parents who loved me and um, did their best for me and nurtured me and gave me rich experiences in life. And I guess, you know, to my my part, I spent my young years doing that for my kids you know giving them rich experiences and being there bringing them up so kind of when you hear those sort of tales it's almost like in this day and age really does this go on but yeah it does and I only got halfway through that documentary but um I will watch the rest it's incredible incredible story not a story that's the thing it's somebody's actual experiences amazing so yeah that's what I've been doing with myself <laughs> and uh I don't know um I think I'm gonna have a bit of a break from um making so many chats I might incorporate I might change it up and uh bring more different sort of content into it I don't know if people might feel a little um Oh, what's the word? Stale watching the format that I have now. It's best to keep moving, isn't it? Otherwise, you know. <laughs> Stand still. That's pretty much it. I'm absolutely starving this morning. I guess it's because I was awake most of the night, so my body was kind of working. And um, so this morning I woke up ravenous. Haven't eaten yet, but... Um, Whilst, whilst this is uploading, I intend to go and make the most amazing bacon and egg roll. I want to start the diet, but Gary's going to Disney, plus we're going to a wedding. So, uh, yeah, times are not the right time to do it. And I have to cook a roast today of sorts. We've got um, minty lamb chops. So I think, you know, it will. although it will be imminent, there's, there's too many things going on that's going to stand in the way. Uh, namely Gary going away really that's the most um, obvious thing but I can almost always start that while he's away that's no problem but it is hard at the moment to get in the right frame of mind to, to do it it's um, in the past I've just gone you know I'm doing it today that's it bye I'm um, by food I've done it and at the moment it's so hard to get in the mindset I know why. I know why the the things are stopping me. I know what it is. I know what my demons and troubles are. I know, but I just can't get in the frame of mind for it. And you know what? I know that if I started, I would feel so much better in myself because I'd feel healthier and I'd feel more awake. I'd feel more on the ball, you know, and I would, and I would feel stronger. I know it because yeah, I always do. And, um, at the moment, I'm in this unhealthy bubble and I don't, I don't really like I don't really like it at all. But you have to be in the zone, don't you, to get going. So I think that's what I'm going to do. As soon as um, the wedding is over, I'm going to gear myself up for it. And while Gary's away, he's gone for a couple of days. So I'm going to start it and 
<laughs> it just feels like really again i've got to really i've got to got to get it going um i've got to move this because i don't really want to put my tea on it wow that has been one heck of a project um i've made character blankets before like i might have said this earlier but i did actually recall the video and then got rid of it so i can't remember if i told you this or not but i made um my other grandson harley a character blanket and it was a big Mario blanket and the squares were much smaller. And so obviously the sewing was tedious, but I don't remember it being this hard. I, I really don't. And I know that at the time I'd started a new job and I was away um, on, uh, I was staying in a hotel because we were, we were going to various things. I was management. So we were going on various things that we were going to roll out. <clears throat> to our workforce and so while I was in the hotel room I had it all laid out on my bed and I was sewing it and it was I did it the whole weekend of my downtime because in a strange place knew nobody and the hotel you know there's only so much wandering around the grounds you want to do <clears throat> so I did it the whole time I was there and it, I got it done and it, I guess it helped me get through a, a tedious time and and I got a tedious job done at that time, so it was it was quite cool. But this time, I don't know. It just feels so so hard, so much harder. Anyway, let's have a little looky at the joke, and I think it's a really good one today. Actually, I had a little look. What kind of magazines do cows read? What kind of magazines do cows read? catalogues <laughs> yeah that was that one did actually make me smile catalogues cattle ogs cheers guys oh <clears throat> so your task for today should you wish to accept it don't worry this message won't self-destruct um is what would you like to see me bring into these these vlogs now i'm going to maybe i can bring some yarn into it um make it more featurey rather than vloggy what shall i do with it that's yeah you know, that's kind of what i'm asking you um i know a lot of people like the format as it is but perhaps it has become a little tired over the years i don't know I don't think I'll do one every single day, but then, you know, you know that anyway. Um, I'll do them as and when I can and all that. But um, I think I do need to mix it up a little bit. What do you say? Anyway, I'm going to get off, upload this video and um, go feed the demon that lives within my tummy. And I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.